Hey guys, this is Shumon from ASA Technical. Today, I am going to show you how to convert BIOS mode legacy to EFI of an already installed Windows without losing data. Well, let's get started. At first, let me show you BIOS mode of my laptop's current running Windows 10. Yeah. As you can see, BIOS mode shows legacy of my laptop's current running Windows 10. Now I'm gonna show you by changing the BIOS mode of this installed Windows 10 from legacy to EFI without any kind of losing data. At first, you need to download G-Disk. From here. All right, I'm just extract it. All right, next I'm just copy the .exe file according to my PC system, 32 bit or 64 bit. and just paste it into system drive as you can see all right now you need a windows installation cd dvd or ufi bootable usb flash drive you can check out our channel for how to create ufi bootable usb to install windows 10 Next, just restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's boot menu with hitting on F12 and select inserted Windows installation, CD, DVD or USB flash drive and boot from that. As you can see. Then click on next. And then click on repair your computer. Alright, click on troubleshoot option. Next click on command prompt and follow the instructions exactly. Now type the command disk part then hit enter. Next type the command list disk then hit enter. Alright now you need to select your PC's internal disk. Next type the command cell disk 0 then hit enter. Next type the command list bar then hit enter. Then you will see the system reserve partition and system drive. Next type the command exit then hit enter. Then you have to find system drive where gdisk64.exe file was pasted. But keep in mind that in this case you and my directories may be same or different because it is automatically changed here. Now let's check. To know that type the command cd space forward slash d space c colon then hit enter. Next type the command dir then hit enter. No not here. As you can see, the drive has been changed here automatically. Well, we have to find it. 
let's check another drawer next type the command cd space forward slash d space d colon then hit enter next type the command dar then hit enter no also not here let's check another dar next type the command cd space forward slash d space e colon then hit enter next type the command dar then hit enter yeah this is the right drive where gdisk64.exe file was pasted as you can see next type the command gdisk64.exe space dash l space zero colon then hit enter next type the command gdisk64.exe space zero colon then hit enter yeah, as you can see, now current partition style shows MBR. To boot our PC in UFI mode, we have to convert partition style in GPT. Because MBR drive format does not support UFI boot. For more information, read the screen instructions. Alright, next type the command Y, then hit enter. Next type the command W, then hit enter. Next type the command Y, then hit enter. Alright. Next type the command disk part then hit enter. Next type the command cell disk 0 then hit enter. Next type the command list part then hit enter. Alright, then we have to create EFI partition in system partition. To boot our PC in EFI mode, now just follow me. Next type the command cell part 2 then hit enter next type the command string desire space equals to space 300 minimum space equals to space 300 then hit enter Alright, next type the command create par EFI then hit enter. Next type the command format space FS space equals to space FAT32 quick then hit enter. Before type the next command note we suggest picking a drive letter between m and z because earlier drive letters may still get assigned to drives that don't always show up in file explorer like optical and removable card drives m through z are almost never used on most windows system next type the command assign letter space equals to space z colon then hit enter now you should see the message disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point yeah done as you can see all right next type the command exit then hit enter next type the command disk part then hit enter next type the command list hole then hit enter Then you will clearly see your created EFI partition and system drive. Next type the command exit then hit enter. Alright before type the next command make sure must type the command from the system drive. Next type the command bcd boot space e colon backward slash windows space forward slash l space en dash us space forward slash s space z colon 
space forward slash f space all then hit enter yeah as you can see it shows that boot file successfully created that's it next type the final command exit then hit enter all right now let's check what happened Well, now let me show you BIOS mode of my laptop's current running Windows 10. Yeah, as you can see, BIOS mode shows EFI of my laptop's current running Windows 10. Alright, now let me show you from disk management. Yeah, this is the EFI partition which was created and this is the system reserved partition and this is the system write. Alright, now let me show you disk type. Yeah, as you can see, partition style shows GPT. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.